Now, the first parole hearing uh, is to be held in public today after the rules changed in July of this year. Previously, those hearings, always private, held in prisons as well with very limited access. Well, today is for murderer Russell Causley, handed a life sentence for killing his wife, Carol Packman, in 1985. He's never revealed the location of her body as he tried to fake his own death, too, as part of an insurance scam uh, to avoid the police. Uh, freed from prison in 2020 after serving 23 years. However, he breached his license conditions and was placed back in prison in November last year. Let's speak now to Donna Jones, Conservative Police and Crime Commissioner for Hampshire. Uh, Donna, thank you very much indeed for your time. Um, is this part of the process of, of justice not being just being done, but being seen to be done as well? Yeah, well, I think this has come from a number of poor decisions, which the public perceive as poor decisions made by parole boards over recent times. We saw earlier this year um, the mother of baby P, Tracy Connolly, who was released with 22 conditions attached to her parole. Now, if somebody is that at that much risk of committing harm to the public or to children, that they need to have 22 conditions to keep the public safe, you could argue, and I came on GB News at the time, and argued that perhaps that wasn't the right thing for the parole board to do. Now, actually, the government took umbrage of that decision around Tracy Connolly. She was since recalled. She was then released again on parole. And I understand she's now back in prison again. Uh, but this really is about the government's commitment to making justice more transparent, to becoming, you know, to being tough on criminals, making sure, for example, that people who commit serious, violent and uh, sexual offences are no longer entitled to apply for parole 50% of the way through their uh, sentence. And I very much welcome that. And I do welcome uh, the same as that first murder case, the sentencing of that murder case that was uh, televised. Uh, and now, as I say, we've today got the first televised parole board hearing. And I think it's good for the public because they can now see uh, what is taken into consideration when people are making those decisions. Yeah. Is, is there a danger, however, and this was an argument, of course, over the whole issue of actually televising court proceedings as well, it becomes sensationalised then when the details are released? Well, perhaps there is that risk, yes. And I do think that that, that is um, a key case. And particularly, probably, you know, in the, in the first six to 12 months and when you have high-profile offenders, I'm sure, yes, I agree that there is a risk that we could be sensationalising it. But actually, as time goes on, we've seen in America, for example, where they have been uh, televising uh, uh, criminal justice procedures for years, um, that it does then start to become the norm. But if yeah. you are a family member, a loved one of somebody who was affected, killed, seriously injured, or detrimented by that particular um, offender, by that criminal. Um, and you, you, therefore, now will be able to have all of the information that the parole board are taking into consideration before and whilst they're making that decision. And for me, as I say, that's a really welcome thing. And as the National Lead for Victims across England and Wales, today is a good day for me. It's a landmark day. OK, and, and last thought, could it also concentrate the mind of the parole board themselves, knowing that all these details are going to be made public? Undoubtedly. It's human nature. If you know that you have got 65, 66 million people scrutinising your decision, I think it undoubtedly brings that. But that's the whole point of living in a democracy. That's the whole point of us living in an open and transparent society. And as taxpayers, being able to have um, a right to the information that our government are charged with and, and making those decisions on our behalf. So yeah. from my perspective, if it brings greater scrutiny, that is also a good thing.